Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. So today we are doing something a little bit different than um, oh, the bloom technique and all that. So I am doing a ring pour slash straight pour slash wiggle pour. It's kind of like an all-in-one. And we are using um, a DIY pouring medium. It is 60% PVA glue to 40% water. So this is a great uh, pouring medium, especially if you're a beginner or on a budget. Um, it has fabulous results um, if you're not really concerned about the archivalness of it, of your painting, and you're just doing this for you. Um, whichever. So yes, so it's 60% in a cup um, of PVA glue, and then I have 40% of water to it. Give it a good mix, and then I do about a half a half, half and half of the paint to pouring medium. It just depends. I kind of wait for it to, um, flow off the stick nicely, but it's still nice and thick. And then after I've done that to all my colors that I'm using, I go back in with a small bit of water to get them all to the same consistency of whatever technique I'm going I'm going to be using because most techniques you kind of have to switch up your consistency to. So this consistency is um, when you take your stick and lift up some of the paint and tilt your stick, it falls down into the cup, leaving a mound before it actually sinks into the paint that's in the cup. Um, so this is would be like a thicker kind of um, consistency because I want to keep my rings. I want them to show. So if it was thin, then everything would kind of blend more and I want my rings and my design to be powerful and not blend together so much. Um, so I'm just kind of going to go through because there's a lot of tilting and whatnot. So I'm just going to go through the colors. I know I've already poured them in the cup. Um, and I hope you noticed that I did layer them. So I put my white down, my titanium white, and that, you know, has the glue water mix, the pouring medium, all the paints do. I put that in the cup and then I slowly layered the rest of the colors in the cup, pouring them down the side of the cup to so they wouldn't sink straight, you know, into the colors. Um, so we do, we have titanium white, we have Arteza's gold, we have Amsterdam's greenish blue, Arteza rose, and then the base paint is Payne's gray by Arteza, a half Payne's gray and half Prussian blue by Amsterdam. So it's just a mix that I did. I put that down first and now I'm just pouring obviously. Um, I didn't really have a plan. I'm just kind of going with what I'm saying. So I think at first I was doing like a straight pour and then I'm like now I'm doing a ring pour and then I think I go back to a straight pour and then into at the end I do like the wiggle pour or whatever it's called. So it's just, I kind of, I just watch it and I see, you know, kind of what the outside, all the rings are looking like and whatnot and where the colors are. So when the white comes out, that the white, you know, is the first color I actually put in the cup. So that's going to come out last. So you can see I started doing my wiggle pour as soon as I saw that white coming out because I want to get this design. And what else to do, do, do? Um, yeah, again, the 60, 40 glue to water pouring medium. Uh, I did one last night and it turned out fabulous. I'm going to stick the video up as well. Um, and it dried like perfect and quick and nice. And it's a great pouring medium, I think. So especially if you're on a budget. Um, and yeah, so it's a good, I, I, when I first started acrylic pouring, I used PVA glue and water. 
I can't remember what my actual mix back then was. So I'll have to go back and like look at my old videos. But for today, we're doing 60% glue to 40% water. That's all that is in here. And paint. No house paints. Just regular acrylic paint. Um, so when you're pouring, you have, or when you're tilting, you really have to know where the weight of your paint is. I say it all the time, but it's so important, especially for something like this. Now, I'm just kind of going in a circular motion, slowly covering the canvas. I'm not really worried about the corners just yet. I'm just keeping my eye on my design and trying to get the paint to spread towards the corners. And now here I go for this bottom or the, well, my top left corner right now. And then go back to the center, like they'll bring the weight of the paint back to the center. And then now I'm going to cover in the next corner. And when you kind of like go over the corner and then come back, you get a lot, you get the, um, like the ribbons, like the rings pull back when you're pulling the weight back so you get this really cool like movement in your painting I like it anyway so I'm coming back and where am I going now to that other corner I think there's no silicone so you um I don't know if you can see there's a good few cells in there. I haven't torched yet. I'm actually, I don't know if I, I can't remember if I torched this. I didn't want to get like loads of cells. Um, I think I might have torched high up so I can, you know, high up but close enough to pop any air bubbles that I might have had. I can't remember. We'll just have to see. <laughs> but I absolutely enjoyed doing this ring pour. It was like so just satisfying and nice to be doing something um something else so yeah i think i'm gonna go for an open cup i've never ever ever done an open cup before so i think i'm gonna try that with some of my leftover paint that i have from this pour this evening but here we go for a close-up and i'm gonna start to sign off before i get kicked off I think we're going for a close-up, are we? All right, yep. So hopefully I didn't like miss anything. These voiceovers are tough sometimes. Um, yeah, it's pretty fabulous. I love it. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a mess or leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you guys want to see more of this? less of this um yeah just let me know what you think and i will talk to you guys on the next video